Welcome to another episode today. We're going to go over two system of equation questions that my students often miss. Let's just get started with this first one. Usually in the first sentence or the second, it will tell you what your variables represent. In a basketball game, a field goal is either two or three points. So right off the bat, it will tell me that X could be my two pointers and my Y is my three pointers. And in most of these word problems, it will reveal itself in the first or second sentence what your variable is. In a college basketball tournament, Jim made 73 more two-point field goals than three-point field goals. So we got one important information right here that all go together. I'm going to highlight that in yellow. Second part is, if he scored a total of 216 goals in the tournament, how many three-point field goals will he make? So this information is the second part. We're going to write the equation for the yellow and the green. And the question is in the red. We're trying to figure out how many three-point field goals he made, which is solving for y. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's start with the yellow. And this is the confusing one. This is why people often miss this. So let's say x and y are our numbers, right? We know from that sentence that he made more two-pointers. So I'm just going to put the word more right here. I know my X number has to be more than my Y. And how much more? 73 more. The reason why people miss this is that people are going to put plus 73 right here because that's the order of how you read the sentence. But actually, it needs to go with the Y, just like that. And here's why. If this is a bigger number, right? Does that kind of make sense? So I need to add 73 here in order for these two statements to equal each other. And it makes a lot more sense when you put actual numbers in there, which we will revisit at the end. Now let's write our green equation. Let's write our green equation. All it says is that he scored 216 goals, or I think they meant to put points. So how does he score his points? Two times the amount of two point field goals he made, plus three times the amount of three point field goals he made will equal 216 goals or points. This right here calculates his total. Now we got two equations and it's the easy part, the part that you guys know the best. And if I have these two equations and X is already solved for, then I'm gonna use substitution. X represents Y plus 73, so I can substitute that for this value right here. I'm just gonna rewrite it, two parentheses plus three Y equals 216, and I'm gonna replace X with Y plus 73. And just simple algebra from here, 2y plus 73 times 2 is 146 plus 3y equals 216. Combine like terms, and then it's just a two-step equation from here. Subtract 146 on both sides, you're left with 5y equals 70. And the last part, just divide by 5, and you get y equals 14. You already answered the question, but I just want to solve for x so I can explain this a little better. To find x, I can just substitute the value of y, and it's easiest to substitute it right here. x equals 14 plus 73, and you get x equals 87. So let's go back to the confusing part, which was this. And you can see, this is 73 more than your three-pointers, your y, 14. So when you see this part, I just want to mention it more than once because there's so many word problems like this and people often mix it up. An easy way to remember, if this is more, then you add it to the one that's less. We're going to see that scenario again in the second question. All right, like I mentioned, the first or second sentence always reveals what your variables are going to be. This is comparing sedans and SUVs. I'm a simple guy. I always just choose X and Y. Let X be sedans and y equals my SUVs. If 36 sedans are sold and 36 SUV are added, there will be an equal amount of sedans and SUVs. Second part is, if eight SUVs are sold and eight sedans are added, there will be twice as many sedans as SUVs. That's gonna go together. The question is, how many sedans were at the dealership? We're solving for X this time. All right, let's focus on green. And this one I think is just a direct translation, but it's a little confusing still. Biggest mistake here is that people put 36 sedans are sold, they're gonna write 36 minus X, but it's actually the other way around. If 36 sedans are sold, whatever number of sedans I have, X minus 36, 
I'm subtracting 36 from the amount of sedans I have. That's what that is saying. Equals, because it says equal number right here, 36 SUVs are added. So whatever my SUV amount is, Y, adding 36. So that's my first equation. All right, moving on to the yellow. If eight SUVs are sold, so we'll focus on that. Eight SUVs are sold. Whatever my SUV amount is, Y, and I sold eight, minus eight. And eight sedans are added. So whatever my sedan amount is, X, and I add eight. And here's where people get destroyed, but it's not that bad. Think about what we talked about in the first problem. There will be twice as many sedans as SUVs. So that tells me that there are more sedans than SUVs. So we gotta figure out which one to multiply by two. And the easiest way to do this is you multiply to the one that's the least in order for those two to be equal. It doesn't make sense to multiply this by two. It's the other way around. I gotta multiply the one that's less by two in order for those two to be equal. All right, from here, our goal is to solve for X. So I did the other one by substitution. We'll just get fancy and solve this by elimination. In order to use elimination, you gotta put it in standard form. So X minus 36 equals Y plus 36. Put all your variables on the left side and you can do two things at the same time. Add 36 on the right side. I will get X minus Y equals 72. All right, simplifying this one, I'm just gonna distribute it so I write less it's going to be 2y minus 16 equals x plus 8. Put it in standard form, just subtract x and add 16. You can do two things at the same time. Negative x plus 2y equals 24. And from here, it's just a system of equations. x minus y equals 72. And the other one in standard form is negative x plus 2y equals 24. You don't even need to multiply because these are going to cancel off. I'm left with y equals 96. But I'm not trying to figure out how many SUVs there are. I'm trying to figure out the sedans. So from here, we can substitute it anywhere. We can even substitute it to this y right here. And I'm going to do that x minus 96 equals 72. Add 96 and you get your number of sedans. x equals 168. I'm not gonna lie, these two questions are confusing, but hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you throw a like and a subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.